John's favorite hymns was give her your best to the master. Before I sing this hymn, I would like to say just a few words. God knew that we would all be here on this day before John Hill was born. And he knew everything that John Hill would do throughout his life and all the people that he would impact and inspire. And I remember when I was barely four years old, the first day that he came to the house where I grew up, to that door. And I remember his face. I remember how kind he was. His wife had passed away, and my grandmother's husband, my grandfather, had passed away. Soon they were married, and there was happiness in our home. And I didn't realize until just recently how blessed I've been to have known this man. He's taught me much, not by his words, but by the way he lived his life. He was truly the same man behind closed doors where no one could see him that he was to the world of people who really knew very little about him personally. And I, like so many others, you know, look back on my own life, and faultless is not a word that comes to mind. But John Hill and his passing through his life. He has given me a vision of what God can do through one who fully, fully gives themselves to his service. God will not accept anything less than all testimony to our instruction, our admonition to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. He would sit at our piano at home and play hymns and ask us to gather around and sing. And this was one of his favorites. And when I was young, I don't know that I particularly liked it. I didn't really think about the words very much. 